it's the Chicken Channel, and today we have three guests, and it's our new, well, two guests, sorry, and it's our very first new video, so please give us lots of love. So, our very, very, very first one and only Sophia, very first guest, the eating thing, <laughs> Her, she is my chicken, and she is our first guest. Our second guest is an egg. This <laughs> egg came out of my chicken, Beyonce, which is a blue and illusion. And as you can see, it's like a tannish whitish. And that's going to be later in the video. I'll tell you why. We have 10 facts, maybe even more, maybe like a bonus or two. We have 10 facts of what to do when you have a chicken. Dog or when you're getting a chicken or you don't know what to do with it. So, I'm going to be saying five or six or maybe eight or maybe nine. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to be giving an equal amount. So, number one for me is how you should hold it. That has dirt on it. Anyway, how you should hold it. This also has dirt on it. <laughs> is you should never, ever hold it under the wings because their wings are the most delicate part of body. But oh, don't, don't eat that eat bread. That. Okay, our dog just ate that. <laughs> anyway, it's the most delicate part on their body. So you always want to, when you catch them, no. always want to hold them like this or like this, over like that. Because that could break very easily. Second is their talons. Their talons, you could grab them by their talons and it would not hurt at all. But it would hurt if you pulled their tail, took their neck and yanked it, pulled their wing. You always want to grab them like this or by the talons. Another thing for the talons is if they trust you like uh, they do to me, they'll hold on to you because they feel secure. And if you want to make them feel secure, you want to hold like this. Buck, stop eating the bread, dude. You want to hold like this so they don't feel like they're going in thin air and they'll trust you more. Number two, three, <laughs> is ivermectin. Once again, ivermectin. It's a very hard word, but also you could get it at like a feed store. Yeah, any feed store near you. And you want to put them kind of in their um, uh, saddle or in their neck under their wings. Ivermectin helps you mean under their feathers? Uh, under their wings, yeah, <laughs> under their feathers. Ivermectin helps, um, like... Kill the bugs. Yeah. yeah, kill the bugs inside, kill the nasty stuff inside their body. Number four. Food and water is the most important thing you could wish of. Is, like, so water... You could get it anywhere. You could get it from your faucet. You could get it from your sink. You could get it anywhere from the hose, anywhere. Food, a feed store, a feed store. <laughs> you could get it from a feed store. And you wanna have a big enough bag that could last you about one or two months before you have to buy it again. Because sometimes it could be really expensive, sometimes it couldn't. Also a thing for food is it type it depends on the type of chicken they are right now these are poultry so they need kind of grown-up size pellets and when they're younger they need little tiny things so that they can swallow it better number five is let's see, when you hold up how do i say this when you hold them you want to be like very gentle but you want to kind of squeeze them hard so they don't the wings, again, don't fly in your face. It could hurt you, and it could hurt them, like I said. And, yeah, so you want to be very, like, delicate with them. Delicate. <laughs> you want to be very delicate with them, and, yeah. So, the reason, so I said this in the <coughs> beginning of the video. The reason this egg Ow. is the color it is, is because the, ch the chicken that laid this egg has the same color cheeks as the egg. And that's gonna happen with all the hens that lay eggs. The hens we have are good layers, and so their eggs are good. <laughs> um, number two, 
Like Maddie said, it's okay to grab their feet. It's not going to hurt them as much it might scare them. But then again, you probably, you might not want to. They make a weird noise when you do it, so that yeah. might scare you, but it doesn't hurt them. Number three. You I don't want, so basically, you want more hens than you have roosters. All in total, we have 12 chickens and one dog. Those 12 chickens, three of them are roosters, nine of them are hens. We have two separate coops because the two big roosters are fighting with the other rooster that's pretty small. So, we have three leghorns. One of them is a rooster and the other two are hens. Those two and Sophia, our special guests, and Beyonce who laid this egg, they're all guests. Um, and we have ash, we have six astrolops, two of them are big roosters, and those are, um, those breeds are good, um, <coughs> sorry, my dog's barking, uh, those breeds are from Australia, and they're, the roosters are really good if you're, like, in 4-H and stuff, for fair and stuff, um, but we also have four, five hens, um, the Rhode Island Red. There's a Rhode Island Red also in the Asheville Coop, so they don't fight as much. Number four. Um, you don't want their eggs to be in for too long, just because like they could peck at it and if you don't want them to lay a chick, then you want to kind of force them. It's fine. This is perfectly fine if you just force them. So my sister's back with Clifford, the leghorn rooster. He is very, very skinny, so it's very easy to get him. But he's as you can see, he's a little sh scared because we rarely he's pick him up. very, very skittish. And I actually won him in a raffle. Yeah. The leghorn, my sister, won in a raffle. Okay, on to number four. Wait, I think we just made it. <laughs> number five. You, if you want a dog and chickens, mm. you want to get the chickens first. This is straight on a fact. You want to get the chickens first, so the dog, once you get the dog, they know, they're like, Oh, okay, they're already here. They have their own house here. I think they live here. And they'll be a little <coughs> nice The first time, they might chase them. Like, the first time our dog came home, he chased my Beyonce, my poor, poor Beyonce. <laughs> my Beyonce was so scared. You mean you're she went, my, my Beyonce? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> she went under our shed, and her dog went under our shed. It's, it's crazy. But... I have one more bonus. So, how you can tell it's a rooster is the feathers on a hen are curved and the feathers on a rooster are pointy. Also, on its feet, the rooster has an extra leg hanging out like right there and the hen doesn't. So, that's how you can tell them apart. And also, they have a bigger one of these things a gobble. Yeah. I mean, a fin. And. Leghorns are, like, the leghorn um, roosters are, like, the commons where you can see them on, like, signs and come stuff. On, come on, Oh, a sitting yeah. on his tail. They have, like, that kind of tail. They have this tail. It's beautiful. <laughs> but that's all for today. So please subscribe, like, let's try to get this and to... Comment. 250 likes and comment if you have chickens like us and if you want us to do more videos about eggs or chickens and if or you, talons or anything. And if you have questions, comment. Ah, he's gonna fall. Hey, calm down. Stop squealing. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, so this is Sophia and then we have Beyonce. Up next is the king of the coop, Clifford, and then Daisy and Peach, the two leghorn hens are in the corner. Just hoping you guys would like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.